These videos are intended as refresher training and pointers for our contractor and wholesaler partners. These short videos are not intended to replace a Navian training class. Please contact your local wholesaler or manufacturer's rep to schedule a training class for your company. If you are a service tech servicing a Navian unit, please contact Tech Support at 800-519-8794 and record your service visit by the serial number for that unit. Navian records all service on all units for future reference. If you're a homeowner, please do not attempt to service or adjust your Navian on your own, as service by untrained persons voids the Navian warranty. Please go to Navian.com and use a dealer locator on the website to look up a local service provider in your area. Hi, this is Scott with Harry Akloff & Associates. In this video, we're going to go through the routine maintenance on the NPE A model, show you where all the filters are, how to take them out to clean them, and also how to hook up a flush kit to flush the heat exchanger of the unit. So we'll start on the outside of the heater. Underneath the heater, you see we have the cold water connection valve kit, the recirc connection, and the hot water connection valve kit. These also have the drain valves on them. To clean the filters, you want to have the water valves turned off, of course, crossways is off. You can drain the unit using these connections. We've already done that. These allow you to hook up your flush kits or also a garden hose to run water off of these things at the different ports for testing. The cold water has a filter right here. This may require a pair of channel locks to remove. It has a simple O-ring and a very small screen filter for you to take out and clean. Just clean that, put that back in. The resort connection also has a filter located here. It has the exact same filter on board you can get replacement filters. Typically, people just clean these out with a toothbrush and a cup of water and then reinstall them. You will also want to clean out the condensate trap. To do that, you remove the stainless steel clip. The cap slides right out. It usually would have water in it and you can clean any debris out of there. You also want to make sure that you reach in with a small screwdriver and carefully remove the O-ring and place the O-ring over the cap before reinserting it. Otherwise, you'll roll the O-ring and that thing will leak like crazy. Push that back up in there and replace the stainless clip. The next thing you want to do is clean the intake air filter. To do that, you have one screw to remove. A long magnetized screwdriver really helps this go a lot easier. And then that just pulls right out of there. Like so. This is allowed to be full of stink bugs, dust, debris, pollen, who knows what it'll catch. But this is part of the routine maintenance that you do not want to miss. Reinstalls the same way. There you go. And that's it. To hook up a flush kit to flush the heat exchanger, you have your cold water off, your recirc valve off, and the hot water valve off. Remove your caps, and this is where you hook up your flush connections to your pump and your flush kit. This allows you to flush the descaling solution through the heat exchanger to remove any lime scale or hardness that's developed. When you're done, simply go ahead and remove your flush hoses. You'd want to hook up a hose to the hot water side, turn on the cold water side with a flush valve off, and flush the heat exchanger out a hose here. This gets all the solution out of the heat exchanger before you put the water heater back in service. So that's it for the routine maintenance of the Navian NPA. Don't forget to double check and make sure that you turn all three of the main valves back on before you leave the house. Also, this information is in the owner's manual of the water heaters and you can contact your local Navian manufacturer's rep or distributor for more information and to purchase a flush kit. Flush kits typically come with the chemical necessary to flush these units out and it's a very convenient way to service them. Hit the subscribe button down there and check out some of the other videos we have while you're here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.